Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Manic Sanguine data pack world. In this episode, I want to get some better armor. So there's a higher version of the Anirum that uses netherite, and uh, I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm not going to try. Um, so I want to try to get that, and the first step to doing that is going to be getting netherite. And I've decided, I feel like that just mining, oh, I accidentally renamed this, whoops. I think that mining with a regular pickaxe is not a good idea. So instead I'm going to try to get a bunch of beds. And for that we're going to need some sheep. So, I want to see, I should have leads. I killed a couple of those guys. Okay, I don't think I have any leads, so instead I'm just going to go and bone meal some wheat seeds. Just do this a bunch of times. I can put that. Hmm. Maybe try that. There we go. Oh, this guy sells big drip leaves apparently. Sometimes. That would have been good to have at the start when I needed it for the corpse cord or pitcher plant. Corpse pitcher. Let's just go ahead and buy some moonstones, top off our supply, and I guess I'll spend phantom membranes on it as well. I don't know what else I'm going to use them for. And I'll capture some sheep. Um, maybe I should build a pen first. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm, I could put them on top of the house. Oh, that would be hard to get them into though. Annoying. I'll just put it over... Oh yeah, they need... Wool. They need grass as well to grow their wool back. Let's just put them right over here. It should be fine. Oop. That should be plenty big right there. I'll just put some blocks in it so I can get the sheep in easier. Right on the side here. And we'll put a carpet there once I've got all the sheep in. So a new update to both Manic and Sanguine is, should be coming soon, I think. Which is going to be pretty cool. Can't wait to see that. There's going to be some, like, balancing changes and then some other stuff. I think new things are being added. That'll be good to check out once that comes out. But I know there are definitely some things that we have not seen yet in this world and put it in the current version. I got two sheep here. We're just going to bring them back to the house. And then I'll wait until... I'll just keep breeding them until I have a bunch. I'm not sure how many beds I'm going to need or want. I want enough netherite to make a full set of armor and the sword. So that's going to be 5, 20 scraps. I've got 19 right now. I think that ritual... Maybe it would be good if the ritual, was, the ritual range was extended for netherite. Because it's so rare that you're probably not going to find any when you perform that ritual. Unless I just got really unlucky. Come on. Actually, I probably could craft a lead. No, I don't have slime balls. So I can't. Come on, come on. Let's go. Alright, we got them all in the pen. I might go looking for more while I wait for these to be able to breed. Probably a good idea. But first I can shear them. And hopefully make a carpet. Okay, they, they both dropped one wool. Ooh. I hope they can't hurt... Oh, I hope these guys can't hurt my sheep. Let's get out of here. Leave... Oh. It'll just, it'll just break the wall. Luckily, I had an extra piece of wool in my chest. So I'll just uh, put these carpets over here. I'm going to dye the sheep white, and then I'll go look for some more sheep while we wait. Actually, I will leave. I'm going to leave this here so that I can bring more sheep in. 
There was one just outside the house on this hill here. Let's get him safely. Gonna take a quick trip into the nether and grab some bone blocks or kill some skeletons so I can make white dye. Because I used up all my bone meal on um, growing the wheat. Oh, there's a skeleton. And also some specters down here. Hmm. I do need... I, I think I probably have enough reticulum to make the stuff. Yeah, I'm not going to bother grabbing it. Let's get the skeleton. Oh. Idiot fell. Um, two bones is probably enough. I'd also like to enchant some more tools and maybe get looting on my sword. Oh yeah, you gotta make him into die first. There we go. And I should chop some trees as well. Not the big tree. That's gonna be a pain. Um, get some wood so I can make those beds. I'm gonna just get like 10 of them, maybe. That should probably be enough to uncover some netherite, I think. I know people usually use TNT, I think, but that is expensive. I guess I could also fill up a shulker box with them to bring more at a time. Okay, able to breed a second batch right here. Now we got six. Get that exponential growth. Okay, I got enough for five beds. I'm going to just see how far each bed is going to take us. I don't need the shulker box. Let's see. Um, I will need some blocks to protect myself and also to bridge across the gaps that I build, make with the beds. Let's head in. Okay, um, I guess probably right at the entrance is as good a place as any to do this. Maybe... Yeah, let's start right here. Place a bed and then... Oh, nice. We can cover some right away. Sweet only one but good start okay I've used all my beds and didn't find any more than that first one and this is the main problem that I was talking about when I said I don't like to use explosions is because these lava pockets can fill up your tunnels I guess but oh well the surface area is probably like worth while oh so I'll probably get, like, a full inventory of beds, and then I'll come back down here and see where we can get. One netherite scrap isn't bad. Make our beds. I got a bunch of wool. Okay, that is plenty. A lot more than what we had before. Let's bring this into the end. Sorry, I mean the nether, not the end. Bring these down into the mines, and I got... I guess 29 beds. Hopefully we should be able to uncover a few netherite scraps with that. Let's start um, over here, probably. That's a good spot. Oh. Get out of bed. Um, put that right there. And we'll just... Okay. Got anything? Mm, doesn't look like it. And done. That's all of our beds used up. And I left all the netherite so I could go back and mine it all at once. So let's see, we got one, two, three, four, ooh, five. 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, I think that's all. We got ten ancient debris from that. We're gonna need some more beds to get the rest. I think we have enough for maybe three netherite ingots right now. Something like that. Yep, we got 11 ancient debris and three netherite scraps. Let's cook those up. I just discovered that I had a bunch of hay bales in my chest from the villages. So I got lots of food now. Store that in the bundle. Oh. I forgot that it only carries a certain... Only up to a stack. We'll put all those in there for now. And we're out of fuel for that. Okay. We got our netherite scraps. Gold ingots. And then we'll combine those. And we got three netherite ingots. I'm gonna need five total, I think. Put that in there. Um, can we actually forge? Maybe we can smithing table the anirum with netherite. Okay, you actually can do that. Let's take this. Ooh, three armor toughness. Okay, I'll do the top three pieces first. Ooh, that's... That looks nice. Okay, we just gotta get two more, and we can upgrade the sword and the boots. So I'll get some more sheep, and I think we should have enough wood to make enough beds to finish this up. Only two more ingots, so we need eight. I'm not sure all you. I'll just use this amount of beds for now, 16. Not as many, but it'll hopefully get us somewhere. If we're lucky, it might be enough, and then by the time we come back, we'll have the sheep regrown and we can make some more beds. So let's head down in there. I believe last time we had like 37 beds or something, 31, and that got us 10 netherite. Oh, there's a hogland down here. Get out of here. Surprisingly, no revenants or anything spawned while I was down there working. Oh, I just mined into two netherite right here. Oh, there's a guy over there. Alright, nice. Free netherite. I was digging out a tunnel. Let's keep digging this. I think right here should be good. It's got a block in the way. Let's see. Oh, this is right next to our other tunnel. Okay, I'm gonna set up... I'm gonna do a separate tunnel from the other one, just so I can keep things more organized. Try to go in a straight line, or at least not have any branching paths. That way it'll be easier to tell where I'm going. Um, maybe right here. Oh, I found another one while mining a tunnel. Nice. Finding more from just tunneling than from actually blowing up areas. That makes three. Oh, you spawned right on me. That's a little bit too far. Nothing in this one. burned to death. But this gives us an opportunity to restock. Only got four left. Got three so far, so we need five more. And it would also be nice to get a pickaxe, but I can sa I'll can save that for later if I don't get too lucky with this next batch of beds. Chop up some trees. Craft those up. 
four more beds. Maybe we can uncover some good stuff with that. And I get right back into it. Ow. Oh, there's a lot of lava here. Found another one while tunneling. That's the fourth one. And zero from beds so far from this trip. And this set of beds. Got five left. Let's hope we get lucky. Nothing. Oh, there's one right across there. Hopefully it's multiple. Ooh, it's two. Nice. Is the max size two? I don't think I've ever seen more than two in one van. Hmm. Get that placed down. Is the last bed? No, we got one more after this. Got anything in here? Doesn't look like it. And we got one more bed. So I got six debris right now. Can finish off the armor set. Ooh. Oh, there's three there and one there. Wow. That's a lucky one. Okay, we'll head over to this one. Grab that. Alright, it's just one. And then we got this one. Apparently, they can spawn in more than three. Unless it's two veins next to each other. Alright. That makes ten. If we get two more, we can make uh, upgrade our pickaxe. Maybe I'll just quickly... Do some pickaxe mining for that. See if I can get anything. Oh, we got some. More than one, please. <sighs> one short. Let's keep looking. And then... Oh, there's one right here. I think there was a village not too far away. So I'll probably head over there and cycle for a mending trade. And then we can get mending on the pickaxe. Won't we'll need it for the sword. Wish I could transfer all my enchantments over, though. That would be nice. Alright, one more to smelt. I upgrade the Anirim sword and the diamond pickaxe. So let's put these together. Nice. And boots. Sword. Ooh. Fancy. And the pickaxe. Mmm. Yeah, I'll just do that as it is. How much does it cost to rename this? Oh, it's gonna stay italicized. Oh well. That's. Ooh, yeah, I'm looking nice. Cool. And we've got more defense than before, and this does 8 damage now. I would like to get some better enchantments on it, but for some reason I just can't seem to find any lapis. I'm gonna head down and try to look around for some lapis. So I'm hoping for sharpness 5, or 4 I guess is all you can get from enchantments. Sharpness 5 shouldn't be too hard to get, or 4. I'm stupid. Um, Sweeping edge, I don't need unbreaking, that doesn't do anything. Knockback and looting. Hopefully it would that would be the best. Yeah, I'll start heading back up. Okay. Finally, we've got some lapis and we can enchant our equipment better. Put that in there. What can we get? Band of arthropods. Junk. Let's cycle those enchantments. Sweeping edge three. Ooh, looting three. So we got on breaking, that's junk. We didn't get any sharpness, but looting three is really nice. Let's get that armor out. Protection three, that's good. Protection three, aqua affinity, not bad. I'm breaking two, protection two. Ooh, feather falling. Okay. This is far from max enchants, but it's good. 
And I don't need to worry about unbreaking because this stuff will never break. Hmm. I wonder if it would be possible for me to add these two together at all. I don't think so because this is a netherite sword, isn't it? Yeah. Not bad, though. We're pretty shiny. We got pr protection 3, protection 2, protection 3, and feather falling is always good. Hmm. And then... This does less damage than our old sword, but... It's unbreakable. And it has looting 3. That'll make collecting our materials a lot easier. Oh, there's a blood moon. Perfect timing. That's a great way to finish the episode, is to fight a blood moon with our new armor. I think it's... It looks like it's as good as netherite, the same quality. But it'll never break. So this is much better armor than what we had before. stuff away. I really like how they have the um, Manic and Sanguine written under these. I don't know. I mean, it is, it's kind of obvious what is vanilla and what isn't, but it just feels right. Okay, inventory sorted out. Let's see what we can make here. I haven't made the Effigy. Apply a blood binding to yourself. Okay. Um. So we need... What was it? Effigy. Should probably go outside, maybe. Or on the roof might be a good place. Yeah, let's put it right here. Okay. 15 levels consumes 3 levels. 3 levels of what? XP? I have that. Okay, I asked for some help with figuring this out. It's, you put in a gold ingot. And these, I guess, I'll just take a few. Let's climb up. Gold ingot, okay. Cool, it fits in that little slot, and then the veins, and then you take it out. Ah, okay. And then we boil blood in the urn. Um, blood and... Okay, and then we boil this blood binding in the urn with some blood. And different items, and those will give us different blood bindings with different abilities. So, 
If you put in a fermented spider eye, then you get one that gives extra health or damage, I think. Let me let me reread that real quick. Yeah, it says fermented spider eye grants higher damage. That sounds pretty good. I want to be able to kill these things faster before they can kill me, so. Grab a couple brown mushrooms, and I'm sure I have a spider eye already. So apparently these disappear when you die. It's like they run out, and you gotta make a new one. So, I'll try not to die. Let's make this, and then... Put in some blood. And then maybe I gotta wait for a little bit. Doing something. Oh, wait. Ah, okay. One bound, four, plus four attack damage. That seems pretty good. Let me put these away quick. And that goes in there, and that goes in there. I'll probably make a few extra of these. There's also one that lets, that lets you keep bindings. Ooh. So... Do I have strength or something? 17 levels consumes 4 levels. Oh! Consumes levels to put it into the thing. The effigy. Effigy. Let's try that out somewhere. Um, this does 8 damage. This does 6. Let's see. So this should be able to kill a sheep in one hit. Wow. Nice. That's cool. Plus 4 damage is good. So I think... I'm guessing you can have multiple bindings on at once, but they keep getting more expensive the more you put on. So... Maybe I'll try to get a few more bindings. There is one that requires a turtle scute that increases or it negates damage every 15 seconds. There's one that give higher attack speed. A whole bunch of stuff. There's also one that keeps your blood bindings active, active on death, but it destroys that one, so... Basically, you, you put in a, bl a binding that lets you keep the other ones when you die. I'll probably make a couple of those. Those ones are only... That's only a gold nugget, so that's pretty cheap. Also need the binding veins, which I only have six of them. Hopefully I just don't die. I think that's going to do it for today. We got our Charonite armor, or Karanite armor, or something. Um, got the armor and the sword, so we have unbreakable netherite armor that just makes us insane. I'm taking damage for some reason. We also got a netherite pickaxe, which is good. Oh, I must be getting shot by a spook inside the house. Stop interrupting the end of the video. I'm going to kill you. Okay. We got that stuff. We also learned about the blood bindings, which seem pretty powerful and useful. So overall, I think this was pretty productive so far. Make sure you leave a like if you like the video, subscribe to see more, and thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.